Hello and welcome to the NCAA Division III Men's Soccer Selection Show. I'm your host, Matt Schumacher. Today, 64 teams will advance to the postseason in hopes of doing what Tufts did last year, win a national title. Let's get going. The 2019 tournament is comprised of 42 automatic qualifiers and 22 at-large selections. Two more teams have been added to the field this year. So without any further ado, let's start with the upper left-hand side of the bracket. The first match will feature Amherst and Thomas. Amherst is making its 19th overall appearance in the NCAA postseason since 1993 and a 14th consecutive bid since 2006. The Mammoths joined Trinity Texas as the only programs in the nation to appear in every NCAA tournament championship since 2006. Ithaca will take on Keene State, and these matches will be played in New Hampshire. Ithaca lost in the Liberty League quarters to Clarkson, but received an at-large bid. The Bombers have not reached the NCAA postseason since 2008, but will be making their 14th appearance overall. Moving down the bracket, the next host is Mary Washington. The Eagles won the CAC championship in a shootout for a third straight conference title. Mary Washington will host Keystone in a match featuring Rowan and Salve Regina. Salve Regina won its fourth Commonwealth Coast Conference championship after a 3-2 double overtime victory against Endicott yesterday. And continuing on, Rensselaer will host our next two matches. The Engineers lost to Clarkson in a shootout in the Liberty League Tournament semifinals, but receive an at-large bid. They are led by Josh Gaudiano with 35 points on 15 goals and 5 assists. This is the 8th NCAA appearance for the Engineers and their first since 2015. Next, Eastern Nazarene will face the Engineers in round one, along with a fixture between Middlebury and JWU Providence. Welcome to the postseason, Messiah. The 2017 national champs and winners of 11 national champs are back in the tournament. And just to put that into perspective, 11 national champs, that's the same amount as UCLA men's basketball and UConn women's basketball. Pretty good company there for Messiah. Getting that tough task against the Falcons is Framingham State. The next match features Babson and SUNY Oneonta. Halfway through this side of the bracket, our next host is John Carroll, the back-to-back -back OAC champions. The Blue Streaks hold the record for most tournament titles with eight. John Carroll was perfect in conference play this season at 9-0-1. This is the fourth straight NCAA appearance for the Blue Streaks. And John Carroll will face Washington and Jefferson. The Presidents defeated Geneva College 4-2 in Saturday's PAC Championship game. Also playing in Ohio will be Center against Kalamazoo. Center is a conference champ. The Hornets are receiving an at-large bid. Claremont Mudscripts captured its second straight outright conference title with an overtime win in the final week of the regular season. After being left out of the postseason last year, the Stags, they upgraded their non-conference schedule and picked up non-con wins over Emory, Trinity, and St. Thomas. The Stags get Texas Lutheran back in the championship for the first time since 2002. When TLU last appeared in the NCAA tournament, current head coach Eddie Salazar was TLU's central defender. Salazar now in his 14th season as TLU's head coach, back in the tournament for the first time as a head coach. Trinity, Texas will host this group of matches. The Tigers reached the SCAC semifinals this season before dropping that match to Texas Lutheran. Prior to that loss, though, Trinity had been on a 15-match win streak in conference play. The Tigers will host Texas Dallas, the American Southwest Conference AQ. The next host is Franklin and Marshall. The Diplomats' seventh consecutive NCAA bid is a record streak unmatched in the history of the Centennial Conference. 
and they have one of the deepest benches as 18 players have made at least one start and 13 diplomats have notched at least a goal this season. Franklin and Marshall will host Penn State Harrisburg as well as a match featuring Hobart against Montclair State. The last toast on the left-hand side of the bracket is Kenyon. The Lords are the North Coast Athletic Conference automatic qualifier and will face Penn State Bear End. Also at Kenyon, Rochester matches up against Hanover. We are halfway through the field. We'll be right back after a short timeout to show you the other two, the other 32, right here on NCAA.com. Unmatched passion. Incredible power. This trophy is not given. It must be earned. The NCAA Division III Men's and Women's Soccer Championships. December 6th and 7th at the UNCG Soccer Stadium in Greensboro, North Carolina. Visit NCAA.com slash tickets and get your tickets today. Welcome back to the Division Three Men's Soccer Selection Show. Let's get back down to business. It's championship season, and on the other side of the bracket, we start at the top with the Centennial Conference champion Johns Hopkins Blue Jays. The Blue Jays are making their 17th NCAA tournament appearance and have one trip to the national championship match. That was in 1994. Taking on St. John, Johns Hopkins rather in the first round, welcome to the NCAA tournament for the first time in program history, John Jay. John Jay won the Cuniac Championship earlier this fall. Connecticut College will take on Catholic in the first round. Catholic, Catholic will host this matchup in the match John Jay versus Johns Hopkins. Catholic went 10-1-1 at home this season and won the landmark conference title. Moving down the bracket, welcome back Christopher Newport. The captains boast the ninth best goals against average in the country and are making their 11th trip to the NCAA tournament. They will host a pair of first round matches. The captains will face Eastern, who are making their fourth tournament appearance in the last five seasons. Next, Swarthmore College returns to the tournament for the first time since 2012. This, though, is their eighth trip overall. Roanoke is making its first tournament appearance since 2012 as well. It is the first trip for head coach Ryan Flugrad, who made multiple trips to the NCAA tournament while playing for the Maroons. And our next toast is defending national champion Tufts University. The Jumbos took down Middlebury in the NESCAC title match thanks to a game winner in the 88th minute by senior Joe Braun. And the Jumbos' quest to defend their title begins against SUNY Maritime. The Privateers made a magical run in the conference playoffs as the sixth seed winning three straight in double overtime or penalty. They try to keep that magic rolling in the NCAA tournament. WPI will play Nazareth at Tufts in the first round of the NCAA tournament. This is the third appearance in the tournament for Nazareth who went in back-to-back -back years in 05 and 06. ODAC champion Washington and Lee hosts a first round pod this year. They are paced in scoring by a handful of underclassmen, including freshman John Peterson, who leads the team in goals and points. And Washington and Lee will face North Carolina Wesleyan, who returns to the tournament for the ninth time. And in the bottom portion, Gettysburg will play Oglethorpe on the campus of WNL. Oglethorpe went 15 and three this season. They are second in the nation in scoring tallying nearly four goals a match. A reloaded University of Chicago aims to make another deep run this year after falling in the semifinals each of the last two seasons. Chicago has won four straight UAA conference titles. They are an experienced group heading back 
to the tournament, and they will take on Dominican, who is back for the 16th time in the last 18 years. How about that for consistency? Next, D3 national power Ohio Wesleyan returns to the tournament field. They lead all of D3 with 41 playoff appearances. The battling bishops have also won two national titles. And hosting this pod and taking on Ohio Wesleyan, Hope College. Welcome back to the postseason. Our first round grouping hosted by Lutheran uh, by Luther College, rather, the Norse are coming off their third conference tournament title in the last four years. This is their 10th trip to the NCAA postseason. And Luther will face Principia, who returns for the first time since 2007. The second matchup at Luther College features a first-time participant in the NCAA tournament. Representing Pella, Iowa, welcome to the postseason, Central College. And their first round matchup is with the University of Wisconsin Superior, who make their third consecutive trip to the tournaments. National champ runner up, Calvin College, will host this next grouping of first round participants. Calvin won its sixth straight MIAA title this year, and they will face the University of Wisconsin Whitewater. Also playing in the first round at Calvin College, welcome to the field, Ohio Northern. The Polar Bears are back for the first time since 2015 via an at-large bid. And ONU will face St. Norbert College, who won the Midwest Conference Tournament on a golden goal in double overtime. North Park hosts this last first round pod in this year's NCAA Tournament. They were the 2017 national runner-up, and they have won three straight conference titles, capping it off this year. The Vikings enter the NCAA tournament with an unbeaten stretch of eight matches, and they are led by junior midfielder Peter Olsen, who has 19 goals. Watch out for Olsen. The Vikings will take on Pacific Lutheran. The Loggers are coming off an outright NWC title after sharing it the previous two seasons. And the one you've all been waiting for, the final first round matchup features Colorado College and Gustavus Adolphus College. Lots of postseason experience for these programs. Colorado College back for the 17th time while Gustavus Adolphus makes trip number 13 to the NCAA tournament. And there you have it, all 64 teams who are still alive in pursuit of a national championship. Make sure you check back here on NCAA.com for updated results and news throughout the tournament. This will also be your home for championship action with the semifinals on December 6th and the championship on December 7th from Greensboro, North Carolina. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Congratulations, best of luck to all the student athletes competing in this year's championship. Unmatched passion, incredible power. This trophy is not given, it must be earned. The NCAA Division III Men's and Women's Soccer Championships, December 6th and 7th at the UNCG Soccer Stadium in Greensboro, North Carolina. Visit NCAA.com tickets and get your tickets today.